one of the things that's really important in extreme ownership is being able to check your ego, have the humility to, to admit and own those mistakes so that you can overcome them and, and accept constructive criticism. Yeah, when I get asked, you know, what makes somebody fail as a SEAL leader? 99.9% .9 of the time, it doesn't have anything to do with their physical skills or their mental toughness. What it has to do with is the fact that the person's not humble enough to accept responsibility when things go wrong, accept that there might be better ways to do things and they just have a closed mind, they can't change. And that's what makes a person fail as a leader. Obviously ego is something that drives people. It's something that pushes people to do better that competitive spirit, which in the SEAL teams we absolutely have with each other. You know, whether we're going for a run or going uh, on a pistol range, everything is competitive all the time. And that's ego driving, you know, you wanna win. Where ego becomes the enemy is when their ego gets too big. And now they can't take criticism. They can't make any changes because they believe that their way of doing things is the best. And worse of all, they can't take ownership when mistakes happen. So instead, they just point the finger at other people whether it's down the chain of command and say, well, my guys didn't execute it right, that's why we failed, or even up the chain of command. They'll say, oh, my boss didn't give me the support I needed, so it's their fault that I failed. With extreme ownership and that mentality, you get control of your ego and you say, listen, regardless of where that problem came from, it's my responsibility to get it solved. So if my guys didn't do what I want them, wanted them to do down the chain of command, that means I didn't give them the guidance, the training, the parameters, they didn't understand the mission well enough, all those are my fault. And if I didn't get the support from up the chain of command, well, that's my fault as well. I didn't educate my boss. I didn't explain to them what we needed. I didn't influence them to make the right decisions to support what we were doing. Even the enemy, you know, I can't blame the enemy if we, if we get caught um, off guard. That means we weren't ready enough. What that actually does is allows you to not only own problems, but own solutions. No leader has it all figured out. And you can't do it all yourself. You gotta rely on other people. So uh, you gotta ask for help. You gotta empower the team. And you gotta be able to accept constructive criticism. When things do go wrong, when, when, when bad things happen, you gotta be able to take ownership of them. If you can't take ownership, you gotta be weeded out of the organization.